Well, good morning, friends. Got up at the crack of dawn this morning and went out and did some turkey hunting. Didn't hear any turkeys, so we decided to do some shed hunting out here on this ridge. And uh, if we don't find any sheds, well, at least we'll get some exercise. So anyway, let's take a look out here. Hopefully we'll find a few choice pieces to take home. snow up here. Not much turkey snow at all. See why a box like these big trees they can get in here out of the wind, hunker down during the storms. I'm not seeing any horns right here. Maybe further out on the ridge there might be one or two, keeping our fingers crossed. There sure isn't a lot of turkey sign out here, but we got the shotgun just in case. Check out our video, high country grouse hunting. You can see, but we harvested a nice blue grouse off this ridge last year. Made a wonderful dinner. We gave our dog a good workout. Unfortunately, Tig can't be here today. They don't allow dogs during turkey season around here, which is fine, but boy, she's really getting an attitude. Seeing us dress up in camo and rattling shotgun shells and loading guns into the car and she's stuck on the back porch. Well, one thing we did find is this interesting moss that hangs from the trees. <clears throat> I think some people call this grandfather's beard because you can uh, use it like that for disguise. One thing that's got me curious about this, it's very tough like jute twine. And I'm just wondering if this would be a good candidate 
to do a fire roll or a friction fire fuel. I might take a little bit of this home and experiment with it by the fire pit. Well, we didn't have a lot of luck looking for turkeys today. We got up at 3 a.m. this morning and had breakfast and hit the trail pretty early. Wasn't anything out there. We didn't hear any uh, turkeys at all. Went shed hunting, got struck out. So I figured I'd come home and try this uh, new fire roll idea I had. I come home with a nice bundle of that old man's beard or grandfather's beard. I did try a fire roll real quick and this stuff falls apart quite easily, but it does make a really good tinder bundle. So I think what I'll do is make a traditional cotton fire roll and try to use some of this old man's beard that I found hanging in the trees for a tinder bundle and see how that does. And uh, make a little fire and uh, maybe cook up some bear stew tonight for dinner. Been having some pretty good windstorms lately, so we keep picking up sticks, bringing them over here to the fire pit area. We've got a little bit of hardwood there to make some coals for the Dutch oven tonight. Found a nice mess of birch bark in a big grove of birch trees near here, and some pine limbs. Found some old hardwood there, that's alder. So we'll get some coals going and uh, make bear stew in the Dutch oven. Well, I'm no expert at the fire roll. I have tried it a few times. And uh, I'm just going to work up some of this grandfather's beard. I'm going to make a real nice little bird's nest. Got a cotton ball. Stole from my wife when she wasn't looking. And uh, I guess I'm going to try to find the end of that. Never really videotaped this before, but I've seen it done on YouTube a number of times. And uh, like to uh, watch that David West channel that everybody else enjoys. So, yeah, well, about like that looks pretty good. Got some wood ashes here out of the wood stove. Sprinkle it on there like you're going to need bread. Put a little bit on here. <clears throat> that ought to be enough. <clears throat> See if I can make this work. Haven't had a very good day today. We stomped all over. We drove all over. We were trying to find a tom turkey, and we didn't do very good. But it would be nice if we could have a good campfire bear stew. I think that would be a nice consolation tonight. So, let's get this maybe rolling here. All right, here we go. See if we can get a fire going.
little bit of smoke coming out there. So, let's uh, see if we can get that going. find this a lot easier than uh, trying the uh, bow drill which I've been trying but I've been having some elbow issues so this is kind of kind of fun even easier on me than the flint and steel starting to get hot Smell that bear stew already. A lot of smoke. There's a lot of moisture in that tinder bundle. Maybe add a little bit of aspen bark to the mix. just aren't going my way today. There we go. Okay, we do have that birch bark going good. I'm going to throw on some more and put a few twigs on there and get this thing going. Okay, we're back with the first key ingredients for the bear stew. Got a good hot fire going over there. First thing you're going to need is some bear meat. And this is ground bear meat here that I put uh, some herbs and spices on. And then we have uh, what's left of our garden uh, onions there. With a few cloves of garlic kind of cut up and mixed in. So I'm going to fry that in the Dutch oven just to get things going. But you don't want to attempt that unless you have the real deal uh, bacon grease that we saved up. And it tastes great with bear meat and with venison. And uh, save that up there. Some good bacon grease. My grandma cooked in bacon grease and I kind of got hooked on it when I was a kid. And uh, it doesn't hurt you at all. Grandma lived to be uh, 98 years old before she died. And she said that bacon grease won't hurt you one bit. We'll just put a little bacon grease in there to get the pot primed. You don't want to scrimp. You only live once, folks. So I'll put a good amount in there. And uh, found some apple wood, too. So we've got some apple wood coals in there and some alder coals. And it's smelling really nice. 
I'm gonna get some heat built up on there, boys. Well, as you can see, that bear meat is ground meat. We put all the small pieces in a big bowl, and at the end of a butchering session, we'll grind that real fine. And this, uh, we didn't put much fat in. I'm not sure if we put any fat in there at all, so it's super lean. Bear meat is kind of a sweet taste than meat. I think it's a little sweeter than venison is. Real fine texture. This is a young bear, and I think we... We harvested this bear in 2017, so we've had that in the freezer for oh, three and a half years, vacuum sealed in a bag. Still, and just like the day we put it in there, that bear was a problem bear that kept showing up on our porch and, and uh, getting pretty close. And one day I got a deer and he tried to eat the carcass, so I went ahead and took that bear too. And uh, I'll have to show you a picture of him. He was kind of a neighborhood nuisance. But anyway, he's blessed our table many times over. He's going to do it again tonight. I think we might have one or two packages left in the freezer out there that we're savoring. Probably will finish it up this year. I better give this a quick stir. A lot of smoke in this fire. Get those onions all sauteed in with the meat, get all that flavor. Now that's some tender meat. She's usually hanging out pretty close to the Dutch oven, hoping she might get a scrap or two, or maybe lick somebody's bowl. Yeah, it's looking pretty good out here. Sizzling up pretty well. I like to get a lot of top heat going. It helps things cook faster. That garlic and onion really smells good. And the spices. Woo! I think we're ready, boys. I'm gonna get the ball rolling here. Well, let's just see how many vegetables we can cram into a Dutch oven. Gotta have our greens, of course. Definitely gotta have carrot, potato. Oh, there's plenty of room. Plenty of room. We'll just load this thing up like we got company coming. Do a bit. I'm gonna put all that chicken stock in there. Yeah, buddy. That applewood smelling mighty good. So, for those of you that have never seen the fire roll friction fire lighting method, uh, all I used there was a cotton ball. I unrolled it, made a little strip out of it. I used wood ashes. Uh, fresh wood ashes work better. I've used some out of the fire pit there, and uh, they take longer. These are out of the wood stove, so they haven't had any rain on them or anything. Or the wind blowing at them so that there we need a board or a flat stone and then a, a top board to roll with and it really pays off to roll in one direction roll forward to get it good and tight this works really well and i recommend if you're interested in this to uh, give david west a shout on youtube 
I'll leave a, a link to his site because he's just got some really great videos. He's a super nice guy, and I'm sure he wouldn't mind if you stopped by his channel for a fire roll lesson. Okay, well, that apple wood made coals in a hurry, so I went ahead and loaded the top of this Dutch oven here because for a stew, I don't think you can get too much top heat. I like to get that good and hot. for joining us. Hope you'll come back and see us again soon. Back to step right up, ladies and gentlemen. You can't find this on the cooking show.